Welcome to the YouTube channel Awakening with Apple Wang. I am your host, Apple Wang. The goal of this channel is to investigate spiritual phenomena such as near death experiences, deathbed visions, past life memories, and other spiritual communications, as well as alien and UFO encounters. As to demonstrate the immortality of our souls, my intention is to bring you humanity, healing, wisdom, and answers through sharing some of the profound spiritual investigations and individual encountering experiences, thereby facilitating unconditional love. And spiritual as well as universal consciousness. For more information, please visit my website www.soulregressionhypnosis.com. To book a free strategy call, please scan the code below or check out the link at the description box. Welcome to the YouTube channel Awakening with Apple Wang. I am your host, Apple Wang. This is episode five. Today we have special guest, Dr. Beate Blumrich. Dr. Beate is a happily married Frankfurt German medical doctor who has three growing adults. Dr. Beate was initially trained and specialized in anesthesiologist for four years and later became a general practitioner. She has over 30 years of medical practitioner experiences. Dr. Beate is well versed in her multidisciplinary modalities such as medical science, acupuncture, applied kinesiology, and hypnotherapy. She began working as a hypnotherapist 17 years ago. Her scope of work, including but not limited to trauma, conflict, addictions, pain, fear, and personal goal coaching. She works with adults and children from five years old. She's also the author of Unlocking Your Inner Magic, The Power of Guided Self-Hypnosis, and the roots to grow and the wings to fly, empowering your children with guided self-hypnosis. Since her completion of past life regression training in 2014 and her recent graduation from Michael Newton Institute in Life Between Life Therapy, she's now deeply involved in spiritual hypnotherapy as she transforms lives daily. Today, we are going to continue our last episode's topic, delving into how self-hypnosis can help us to connect with the higher self and what clinical hypnotherapy, in particular, soul regression, has a role to play in connecting the physical body to the spiritual realm. And once this connection is made, what kind of conditions can people, can the individual benefit from by having such soul regression session? Dr. Beate also shared her insight from a general medical practitioner to a spiritual hypnotherapist. A big warm welcome to Dr. Beate. Welcome, Dr. Beate. My first okay. question to you, continue from what we did in the first episode. So what is the difference of a regression into the biographical aspect of this incarnation into past life and into the life between lives? In general, we can say that every experience um, is karmic. So as we talked before, every experience has its means, has it has its meaning, has its um, like um, having agreed to it. And in a pre-talk with people, um, it may occur that 
a special uh, traumatic or conflict situation of this lifetime has its origin during this lifetime. And then it is important to work with this re re with a regression into, for example, into childhood of this lifetime. We may say every every experience is karmic. That's right. So even if this if there is a traumatic experience during this lifetime, for example, in childhood, <clears throat> it may be, or it is very often that this comes from an even deeper uh, origin, and this may be in another lifetime. And um, going back to childhood or earlier times of the recent lifetime, and going back to previous lifetimes in, an, in other bodies is the, the same thing, but only in different times. So a solution or explanation or healing from problems may be reached by regretting to, um, to this early lifetime aspects in this biographical life or going back to earlier lifetimes. <clears throat> it is a totally different thing to leave all these regression aspects back in time to go into your eternal um, into feeling who you are as an eternal being. So it's not regression into life between lives because there is no life and, and no, no time and, and um, um, space um, in, this, in this being a soul and being, feeling in, into your being a soul. So we have these three ways of um, helping people to get some explanations or solutions or healing from their problems. And it is like, as we, as we were talking in the be beginning about the layers, some problems have to be healed in the more superficial layer than we stay in this lifetime. Some people have to go deeper and then we find solutions in watching where a problem comes from, from another lifetime. But um, the highest possibility or the, the best possibility of finding solution, healing, explanations is leaving all that time aspects, all your biographic or <clears throat> um, earlier lifetime aspects and go directly to the life between life, to this like dimension where we, where we have planned all that and um, Sometimes, like even if you have, um, uh, especially if you have patterns, that something hap something happens, um, like in in different in different ways, but it is always the same pattern. Then it may be necessary just to to get rid of all these regression aspects and you go directly to the source where all this is planned, and then you go to life between life, life between lives. Yeah, and there you find answers because you find um, about, find out about your your soul thoughts and your soul plans about your own development and why it was necessary to to make all these experiences. You know, when you say patterns, do the person or the soul, whatever you call it. But in when we have a body, we we simply just refer to the body. Do we carry patterns from a past life? Sure, we do. Um, not for everybody in a in a way of um, feeling a problem with it, but very often, and this I, I refer to um, reincarnation research as well. For example, a person may have um, um, a mark on the on the skin. And this may be rem remaining a remaining aspect from a wound you had in a past life, for example. Or if you have a pain in a special part of the body, it may be that you had a very traumatic death, for example, in another lifetime, and your body, your actual body, reveals um, this as a wound from another life. Fascinating. 
So the concept of eternal soul, how do we explain this to a common man? We don't die. We have reincarnation. We have different bodies. Um, we 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 finish. We had a we have a fun. We came here to learn certain thing. We drop the body. We done it. Okay, the energy left the body and go to go to whatever wherever that we call that spiritual home, the source. Then we make plan. Yeah. We have meeting. We study. We heal. We then come back again. Yeah. The interesting, the interesting thing is that um, most of the time, I do not have to explain the the base, the basic idea, because, like I would say, every person, even pers people who are atheists and do not believe in God or any religious um, concept, say that yeah, when we come to when we when we come down to that aspect, I believe in the reality of something more than only my body. People have a feeling, have an, a deep inner feeling of there must be more. And it is more than more than 70 or 80 percentage of, um, of our world community uh, who believes in religious concepts of reincarnation. And those who do not have religious concepts, even those very very few people who say well when i'm die when i'm dead i'm dead and everything is is gone so well if a person tells me that i'm not the one who has to convince the person of another concept because i know in this body there is a soul which likes to likes to 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 make um, an experience for example of um, of feeling and thinking like that what happens to me when I think like after that everything is over and um, it is very hard and, and I do not feel I do not have this um, missionary um, like uh, co conviction to I yeah, like to convince people from a, from another concept, you know. So this was my first thought when you asked me this question. It's not that I have to convince people that there is something like that. I'm working with people who say, I cannot explain, but there is something. I believe in it. And when I say, okay, even in our, our normal way of talking, we say, well, this this guy I met, we instantly have the feeling we we, we knew before although we did not meet before during this lifetime, or um, we're soul friends and we have words for, for, for things that express this feeling of there must be something more. So the concept, to explain the concept is not what I feel I have to do. But when I have people who, who feel that there is a soul, there is this entity which does not have something to do or <laughs> which is not only linked to my actual body, which is something more, which has an, an eternal um, life. Um, I can I can explain people about this concept of how do I get in contact with it? How do I meet myself in this with how do I meet my, my higher self? How could I how could I make it possible to to feel who I am as a soul? So this is the more interesting aspect for me. I'm I understand. We have to selectively working with those who already have certain level of awareness and understanding. Otherwise, the work would become very difficult. Right. Yeah. And awareness to me, awareness means um, getting to that point of feeling more than knowing. It's more an inner knowing. It's an inner conviction that we are a part of um, like an eternal big soul. My soul is only one part of, of a very, very big universal soul. And getting into this, this is for me, this is enlightening or awakening, um, uh, getting to this consciousness of it's not only me in a body, I'm um, only in my in my peer group in my land and 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 that so it's um when you when you get this awareness you come to this level of awareness that you are a, a little I, I'd say there is a very nice for me there's a very nice um, nice uh, 
picture that explains it. You know, the ocean and the ocean has waves and on the wave there is a drop. And this lifetime is the little drop, but the little drop goes back to the wave, which is my, my whole experiences as a soul during a lot of lifetimes. And the wave is part of the ocean and the ocean is the universal soul. So getting into that feeling, getting into that inner knowing to me is this consciousness, this spiritual consciousness or awakening into this bigger aspect, right? And, and um, I can work with people who have this consciousness as well, which which does not mean that we, we do not have any struggles with life, body, whatever aspects. So people come to me who have these struggles with body, with psyche, with the psychological or physical um, problems. But a person who already found or reached this level of consciousness is um, a good person to work with and to help to find the contact with its or his or her eternal soul to, um, using using LBL sessions. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Now, please allow me to share a little bit about myself. As a professional working in the field of helping people, I have an advanced diploma in clinical hypnotherapy and psychotherapy. I'm also specifically trained in past life regression, quantum healing hypnosis technique, and the life between life therapy. With this profound technique that I have learned, I have been helping many of my clients particularly in the area of relationship healing and pain management. Hypnotherapy is a rapid transformation technology using the hypnotic arts and sciences that is designed with the purpose to create positive changes and the therapeutic effects. This safe and the natural process normally begins with deep relaxation, often involves guided imagery and suggestions. Through identifying the root cause of a challenge, it helps to break old, destructive, and even harmful patterns and habits, thus facilitate subconscious relearning. The hypnotic state is a spontaneous process that happens in our lives all the time. Some are concerned about losing control or being manipulated. Such myths and misconceptions are due to the lack of proper understanding about this natural process. To learn more about hypnotherapy and what I do, please visit my website. You're also very welcome to book a free initial strategy call with me. Scan the code or check out the booking link at the show note. Thank you. You mentioned that many of your clients or people who are already aware, they're asking the question, how can you help them to connect to the higher self? So could you explain that? Right. We are using hypnosis because hypnosis helps to get into deeper, deeper states of awareness. And um, in these deeper states of awareness, you as I said before, you bypass the conscious, the critical factor of the conscious mind. When you bypass the critical factor of the conscious mind, using hypnosis, you get into deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, and deeper, and deeper states. And in these deep states, the body and the 
um, the conscious mind relax and let go and let loose and open up for this very, very deep layer of your soul memory. So hypnosis, using the subconscious ability to get into a trance and get into a very, very deep trance is, the, is our way of communication with our being a soul. This is what I explained to people first that I, I that we we are um, using hypno uh, hypnotherapy or hypnosis um, forms of communication. Beautiful. So, how can this uh, power, this higher self, this intelligent energy, be used for self hypnosis? It's a it's a it's a matter of cooperation. I teach the person. First, to find who he, she, deep inside really is, and then um, using the, as I said before, consciousness is our possibility um, not only to think, to act, and to feel, but to think about thinking, acting, and feeling, our conscious, um, our consciousness skills to cooperate with these different layers of your subconsciousness and your soul. So it's a conscious decision the person takes to find his soul aspects and to integrate with a soul feeling. Feeling like a soul is the, the best what we what I can can offer to people, not only to look on my different layers from my conscious uh, mind, but to integrate, to feel from the inside who I am as a soul. And when I feel who I am as a soul and I know what my decisions, which decisions I took as a soul, I can help from this soul point of view, can help my conscious mind to explain get explanations for what is happening for example the conscious mind always wants to know things wants to explain things and i get explanations from like from the inside of my soul bringing these aspects to my to my conscious mind and furthermore we meet in the in the uh, dimension of where we uh, are where we live as souls um uh, between two lifetimes, we meet higher entities. You know, we all of us, all of all, every incarnated soul has one, some more soul guides, which are souls who normally do not incarnate anymore, but help the incarnated souls to to um, to make their own develop. Uh, development steps and we can meet them we can talk with them we can talk with higher entities we get answers for for um we can we can ask them and get answers about special questions about conflicts or traumatic experiences or where does this all lead to who, uh, what, what 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 should i do with that aspect uh, where does my where does my focus has to go on and so um it is not only this Feeling yourself as a soul, which is the, I think it's the most um, changing or, or um, the most important aspect. But furthermore, you feel and get into the contact that you are not alone, that you are guided, that you have other souls that help you with your decisions and with the development steps you you decided to take. So this is um, a very a very deep way of, of healing and even you can go to a place of healing in your life between lives dimension and you even I found this a lot of times that people go there to this place where we go as souls and bring back to this body and to this psyche um, I'm inside <laughs> bring bring back some healing like really feelable healing so that's beautiful isn't it <laughs> Absolutely. I'm curious to learn your most profound uh, life between life therapies experience or maybe past uh, very, life depression as well. So from your right. clinical ex therapy experience helping your clients, what is the most yeah. profound? The most profound, I would say I had a, a, recently I had a very 
very interesting which um, life between life experience i would not say it was like um wow from that time on there was a cancer healed or something i had a very i just have this in my mind now it came up i have a, a client i had a client um who found herself in um you know we go through past through a past life experience first and from then we go to the to the um, dimension of uh, life between lives. And she found herself in France, in France in a time where there was a, a war and she was a very, like very simple person who was in a kind of resistance movement. And she was a man then. And she, what was very interesting, she, she said later after the session, she said she never learned French. But she used words, French words, for special clothing she wore. For the she she said a French name um, for the for the town where she lived. She had French names for the kids she had in that lifetime. She had a, a very strange French name herself in that lifetime, and a lot of stuff like that. And she said. Afterwards, uh, she, she sent me an email and she said, you know what, I, res I, I did some research about all that. I found that this place during that lifetime she, she, uh, she has been there, um, that place existed. The name existed. The names for the clothing were correct because I said, okay, please, you are talking French now to me. Can you please like um, say letter by letter how I should write down what you are saying? And she um, she said to me letter by letter and I wrote it down and I, I sent the words to her so she could research for the words and the words were totally correct they were written correct they were she said even the name of the son she had in that lifetime was a name which is today as a french name is not used anymore and she found she had to do some deeper research she found out that this was an an ancient way of of name and that was very very interesting that was um I would say it was not not one of my most profound sessions, but one of my most impressive uh, sessions that I had because I know I read this book about these books about um, reincarnation research. There are a lot of stories that um, uh, that, that uh, are the same experience that I made, but that's, this, this was my first experience like that. And um, I had and with, with hypnosis before. I even had people who used their soul power to heal very serious diseases. But this was not with the life between lives um, sessions. This was with my hypnotherapy sessions before. So I know that this these people who uh, who were able to heal uh, like. Series, a serious body disease, they refer and use their soul power to do that. I did not know that when that happened. Now I know what happened, what happened to them, but it happened before. But as an LDL experience, this was my most impressive. When you say this person had uh, severe diseases, what was the diagnosis? Um, it was, it was cancer. She had a special form of, um, lymphatic cancer and um, it was a very slowly growing cancer and I said to her okay I train you in self-hypnosis we first we found out the psychological aspects which had to do with trauma in her childhood we solved the traumatic aspects in her childhood and then her subconsciousness agreed. We have a way to ask the subconsciousness if it, for example, if it agrees with um, um, special, special steps we, we are going to take. And we asked the subconsciousness idiomotorically um, and the subconsciousness say, said, yes, she's, um, the, she has the allowance to, um, to heal her problem. And I, made an agreement with her because you know i'm a medical doctor i said okay right let's go this way because it's a slow growing cancer and i i want you to go to an um uh it was not x-ray but ultrasound you go to regular ultrasound examinations to check about the size of the of the lymphatic nodes because um it is very important that we do not 
miss the point of no return where she should have gotten some um, some um, traditional treatment, for example. And um, and she agreed and she said, she said, I, I do want to heal myself. I do want to do this. Please help me do that. And then I helped her to to find an an inner uh, image to to fight and to fight against these like only body aspects because we we solved the soul aspects before and the body she like she activated her her immune capacities to cope with the with the like with the aggressive um aspects of the cancer and it was very impressive because she she did this like daily and um like more like not not only one one time daily but but she did this two or three times every day and it took her um seven if i remember right seven months to get a very, very big progress of reducing the nodes and they disappeared. They have been disappeared after one and a half year. And um, it was like, yeah, it was a very impressive experience as well. And I'm sure she used it. We understood the message of her symptoms. We understood the message of the cancer. We solved the, the, the problem, the bottom of the cancer. And after that, it was only this, body healing aspect and she used her soul capacities and abilities to heal her body that's an amazing story and did mm -hmm. i get that you actually taught her to do self-hypnosis right we had appointments here to make sure that the things go the correct way but the work she did was her self-hypnosis correct so can this self-hypnosis be be taught to be learned by everybody yes it can and to me every hypnosis actually is self-hypnosis i am as a hypnotherapist i um I, i'm only the person who teaches the client or the patient to work with his inner capacities and like every, even if this, if you go to the life between lives dimension, it is self hypnosis. It is not me who is like doing something inside the soul or the psyche or the brain of the person. It is only me to to teach the person to use what is inside the person. So therefore, hypnosis as self hypnosis is something everybody is able to um, to conduct or to, to do. And yeah. including children. Even children, right. And um, you can, with children, you can work in two different ways. You know, you have, you need some kind of conscious cooperation of the kids. So therefore it had, has to have reached a certain age. And I can work directly with children from the age of five years up, but I can teach the parents of the kid to help in a very playful way, in a very, in a very, in a, in a very fantastic way, using um, inner resources. You know, children uh, have a, a very, very nice fantasy for children up to nine or ten years. The reality, the external reality, there is no strict like uh, frontier or no, no strict. Um, it is not strictly divided into external and internal reality. External and internal reality are like the same thing. And we use this for kids um, to to just, they, they even do not close their eyes. Kill, children move, children like watch you, what you're saying, what you're doing. And I'm saying only, okay, can you imagine that there is um, a nice um, a nice uh, space where you go now? Sure, and there, go on, and what do I do there? And it is a very, very nice, very playful way. And you can use this even for younger children. You can teach the parents how they, like telling them a story, reading a book to them, for example. And we use this to, to help the, the parents bring their kids into contact with them and best in a friend or with them. They are often, they, they have magicians or um, um, 
um, elves or, or animals that appear to them and they talk to them. And this is very normal for kids. They, I, I would say the brain of a kid works like that. So we use only the, the natural aspects of the kids. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Do you uh, work with people who speak English as well? Yes, I do. Um, it is not asked very often, but it happens, yes. But sure, I'm, um, I can conduct um, um, an LBS session or an hypnotherapy, an hypnotherapy with people in English as well. And do you work online? Yes, I do. I work online. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Some of the audience might be interested in where do Oh, they yes, they're welcome. Unlimited they're welcome. possibilities. Right. They're welcome. <laughs> This program is produced by Zentopia Healing and the Soul Regression Hypnosis with a mission to help individuals to awaken from their daily mundane lives. If you enjoy the show, your considerate donation is graciously welcomed. Please scan the code below for donation or check out the link at the show note. Like it, subscribe it, and please share it with your friends. You're also very welcome to leave a review. All of your support is sincerely appreciated. So what are the major applications of Life Between Lives therapy? Um, I would say it the other way around. I would say there are no um, there are there are no limits like the major yeah, everybody could take something from a life between life experience um, hypnosis uh, experience. Um, we we only have um, you say contraindications against hypnosis, which is, for example, people who suffer from mental diseases, people who cannot communicate or people dementia. Mm, well, uh, de de dementia. We have the limitations of, um, of special aspects, but those aspects are limitations. We do not have to do something with the life between life experience. Those are limitations um, where we, we, we could not use hypnosis or people who take drugs, for example. You need to be clear in your in your mind. You need to be clear in your in your conscious abilities. And um, so, for me, there are no limitations no other limitations and this is the most interesting thing because i i do not approach people uh, saying okay this person has a cancer this person has a, a traumatic like being raped or whatever so this person is is good for an for a life between life experience it is always 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 a winning situation you you always take something from this experience even if you do not reach it, even then I found that there is a, a special kind of learning for this person. I only have the limitations of, uh, as, I, as I said, the, the limitations against hypnosis. Or when people, like we, we, we have this pre-talk and people sense for themselves, I'm not ready for that. So that's my limitations. Other limitations for me do not exist. <laughs> I understand. So if you have some um, advice or experience or your wisdom to share with the medical professionals, because you are a medical professional, you're a trained medical professional, and psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, aligned health professionals, what would you say to them? I would say that it is worth trying to get rid of this old biochemical concept of using medicine or learning or, or having this this look on a, on on a person only looking on this body aspect it's worth widening the getting coming to another horizon accepting that a person is more than physics and chemistry and even accepting physics it is necessary to accept quantum physics because 
We are an energy in a body and the traditional medicine normally only sees the body aspects. So it would be nice if more and more and more medical uh, people in the working in the medical area um, widen their consciousness and accept more different points of view, which include the spiritual and quantum physics aspects of the person. So if you have a message for the medical professionals, what would that be? Make an own experience. Make an own LBL experience, for example. Make an own hypnosis experience and find that there is more than biochemistry. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Let's give it a try, right. That would be the message. Beautiful. Um, for the audience, do you have any tips for them to take away anything? Hypnosis, spiritual awakening, and life between life therapy. Just give it, give it a chance, give it a try first. Second, it is definitely that you, you cannot fail. You can never fail. It is, I, I have a lot of people who suffer from the thought of, ooh, can I do this? Am I ready for that? Everybody is ready for that. Everybody will get an interesting experience and he, everybody gets exactly what he needs. And even, as I said, even if you do not um, experience the life between lives dimension and you stop before, you will find why you stop before. And there is something to do, there's something to learn. It is always learning and always developing. You cannot fail and as another message, another very important, and it's like a heart message, we all are guided. You are guided. Everybody is guided. Everybody is guided. That's my most important message. That is beautiful. You cannot fail, and you're all guided to be connected, and even for the audience right. who are watching the show. Thank you. <laughs> that is wonderful. Um, so how do the how can the audience contact you or how can they get to your books? They can they can uh, use my 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 homepage, my internet, my website. Most of the clients contact me via under the, under the screen so it's here so the audience can see it. Um, my website. Um, it is very nice if people contact me via email. I have a, a phone number as well, so you can you can add my contact possibilities, internet, uh, website, and um, email, and my phone number. Although I prefer email, especially if people contact me in English, um, it's easier for me to to read and react um, when they contact me via email. Wonderful. And the, your books are available from your web, your website. Yes, and they I, are in um, German. Yes, they are. I, I have a, a link, or um, I think I have a picture on my of my books on my website. And but they are only available in German. They are not translated to English, so it's a pity. But they are not. They're only in German. <laughs> well, you never know. One day. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Do you have any final messages? We all, luckily, are more than we superficially seem to be. We are wonderful, beautiful, gifted, loving, and every, every, every soul is special with, like, we are gifted eternal beings. And it is so page turning to get into contact with oneself and it is always worth trying. And again, it is the most beautiful experience that we all not only are a part of a like, big universe, but we are guided and we are never alone. That's so wonderfully said. Thank you so much, Dr. Bede, for coming to the show. Thank you for sharing your wisdom, your expertise in spiritual hypnotherapy. 
thank you for invite having invited me and thank you for your beautiful soul shining to me and encouraging me for doing this a beautiful experience thank you apple a lot and thank you for your beautiful work <laughs>